This video is sponsored by OutOfAir.com. You know you want to buy your meat in bulk, right? I mean, it's cheaper when you buy a whole bunch of product at once. But unfortunately, put in the freezer without properly storing it, just look what happens. I mean, just take a look at what this meat looks like. You can see all the freezer burn just sitting right on your meat. Sometimes it's not your fault. You bought it with intent to use it, and you put it in the freezer and it just sat there for a long time. And it just gets all of this wonderful frost that degrades the flavor. Even if it's not meat, maybe it's just some Chinese meat buns that you had left over, stored in a Ziploc. And we all want to be frugal with our meat. We want to buy lots of it in large quantities because it's cheaper. And then we want to be able to have it whenever we're ready to cook the meat dish. You know you're not going to buy 8 pounds of beef and eat it all in one day. You're going to save the rest of the beef for later. So how are we going to take all this meat and store it for later, hope that when we take it out and put it in the refrigerator to defrost it overnight, or longer, two or three days maybe, that's going to be just as good as when the day we purchased it. Well, I just might have a solution looking for with a vacuum sealer and these wonderful bags from outofair.com. So you know how it is. You bought some nice and fresh steaks cheaper than you can elsewhere from the grocery store or from Costco, Sam's Club, you know, the bulk stores. Maybe you're only going to have one or two. Maybe you're going to use some for stir fry. So one of the things we got was a hundred of these six by 10 vacuum sealer bags. Perfect for just one item, such as one New York steak, thick cut. It's got a nice little tear apart part right here. So let's see how well it can hold a thick, you know, about an inch cut steak. Let's see if it's big enough to hold this inch steak. You know, you know if not, you can always use chicken thighs or other things. This is for when you want to do one at a time sous vide very much so oh it's a tight fit but there it is it fit nicely so let's go ahead and seal this up okay there we go setting my vacuum sealer to moist we're going to click on the vacuum button Waiting for the seal light to finish. Ah, it's done. Open up. And it is a nicely vacuum sealed steak. All right, go ahead and write down what it is and the date. New York steak and today the 25th. And now this is perfectly ready for a sous vide bath if you're going to cook it in sous vide, or now it's ready for the freezer. So let's get to one that I'm real excited about. These rolls that come in a box of vacuum to the roll, eight inches wide, so it's a little wider than the pint, which is good, by 100 feet. So it'll take you a long time to get rid of this one. By comparison, this one is the same width, eight inches, but it's a length of only 25 feet. Now let's get out this box is it comes with a slicer all ready to go. So all you have to do is measure out how much you want. So I measured out a little longer than the 10 inches from the previous package. It's also a little wider, 8 instead of 6. So hopefully this will help the steak sit in there better. They did say you do have to stretch it out. So stretch it out. There it goes. Slides right across. Very good. But in this case, you see the bag is double unsealed. Gonna put it in, dry, and just hit the seal button. It's gonna seal up that one side. Seal light's gone, should be sealed. So now one side is nice and sealed. Yes, it's nice and sealed all the way there. See this side, let's write on before. We're gonna put one steak in here again, just one steak. New York steak. A lot more room for your one steak. Alright, 
Now switch to moist because it's got meat inside and click vacuum. So there you have it, a nicely sealed New York steak. Two of them. I like the extra room the second provides, personally. Now these are ready for sous vide or freezer. Or freeze, then defrost, then sous vide. Perfect for that. But maybe the type of person who says, you know what? I'm gonna defrost a couple of steaks at once. I'm not just gonna do one steak. I know when I have my steaks, I am doing two of them on the barbecue, on the grill. So let's take a look at this other roll, this roll is 11 inches wide by 25 feet long. You can also have the box version, which gives you 100 feet. So you got to see how the cutter worked on the other box. So we're not gonna use the cutter for this. We're gonna use the roll itself, only 25 feet. What do you need here? We're gonna need some scissors. And I'm gonna do two stakes at once this time. We're still gonna leave room in between the stakes so that the bag can seal them properly. This time they're gonna need a good set of scissors. A good set of kitchen shears will do you good. Cut right along, trying it as straight as possible. That's not fully necessary though. Seal one side. And while I'm sealing one side, I'm just gonna go ahead and write New York Steaks. All right, sealer's done its job. Nice and sealed on this side right here. So this I'm gonna put two steaks inside. We're gonna separate the steaks so that each one gets sealed individually. But even if you do it this way, you gotta make sure there's enough from between the steaks. When you're gonna use them and open it, you're gonna need to use both steaks. Cause unless you wanna reseal the bag again. And there you have two steaks. Might have left a little more space than need to. Nice and sealed in one candy bag. And ready for storage. Another item I buy in bulk, it's chicken thighs. And these ones are actually already vacuum sealed. They're already ready to put in the freezer, but there's one problem. I do not know how many chicken thighs are in each bag. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three, and it's done by weight. I don't know how many chicken thighs, so I'm gonna have to open them all up and seal them. Another problem is sometimes when I'm trying to cut down the lines like they suggest, as they have here, unfortunately I break the seal, and that's not good for putting into the freezer. So we're gonna go ahead and open up our chicken thighs and seal them back in the way I want them sealed. So when I'm cooking chicken thighs, I usually do eight of them at one time. So we're gonna try putting eight bone-in skin on chicken thighs. That's how we love to eat our chicken thighs. When I slow cook it, roast in the oven, it is wonderful. But I usually do eight at a time. So I'm gonna put an eight into this one big 11 by 16 bag that we got in a set of 100 per package. You can see some special features of this bag. It's got a tear tab at the side, so you can tear it off easily, don't need scissors, and it's got a resealable pouch. So in case you had some leftovers, you didn't want to use all of your thawed chicken, you can reseal it back up and put it back in the freezer. So because this bag is pre-sealed on one side, all you have to do is put in eight chicken thighs inside and seal the other side. Don't forget to write the description on the bag before you put it in the sealer because it's a lot harder to write on it once it's been vacuum sealed. There you go, it's gonna put in eight and eight. Looks like I could have fit in a couple more in here, but I think eight is enough. Make sure to wash your hands after touching the chicken before sealing up your chicken thighs. Because there's moist meat inside, again, we're gonna hit, and move it into the middle a little, the moist button and vacuum. Brighten up, lights out. And there you can see vacuum sealed right for the freezer. But you might have also noticed at the very top, a little bit of the chicken juice is ev evident. I'm just gonna wipe that out. So I just don't want any of the 
chicken juice on the outside of the bag. No other reason. Now let's do another eight chicken thighs, except this time, let's use this option where I can pull it out and slide it on. One thing to notice about these rolls is they come with a sticky thing that seals it to the roll. You don't want to put that part into your sealer because that sticky glue residue, I can feel it right here. So make sure you get the rolls, you take that part out. We can get away with taking away a little bit of the bag. You can see it on there. Don't put that part in your sealer. It's gonna stick. Let's do a little smaller than the big bag here. Make sure you stretch it as you bring the slider through. And then after that, it's great. Beautiful. I love the box with the cutter there. It's so easy just to slice off exactly the amount you need instead of having to use scissors. Eight chicken thighs. Wide open, so don't forget to seal one side first. Absolutely seal one side first over the green lip. Yeah, it'll last 20 seconds. Ooh, nice seal. Fill the bag, eight chicken thighs. Into the sealer it goes. Moist. Vacuum. A bit. Done. Very nicely sealed chicken thighs. After putting them in the freezer, you can see the next day the steaks look wonderful. The frost you see is on the outside. Let me show you. It's on the back side. Oh, it looks lovely. Beautifully done. As Happy Healthy Wife says, these look like they were done professionally. You know, like when you get the Omaha steaks in the mail order and they come in these vacuum sealed packages? That is what we've got here. So nice vacuum sealed steaks. Also works very well on the chicken. Oh, look at that wonderful, lovely chicken in their vacuum sealed package. Perfect for later when I just defrost them. Now the favorites I have out of this bunch, I must say there are two that really shine. This one that out of air offers 100 packs of six by 11 sleeves, already sealed on one side, a great place to write what you wanna put on it, make sure you always do that. And the steak is all sealed, one steak perfectly done in this one. Now the other product I really like really well is this one right here where you seal both ends, you can go as long as you want. And in this case, I was able to put in eight chicken thighs because I know I'm going to defrost them all at the same time and then I'm going to eat them. Now if you'd like to purchase some of these out of air beautiful seal bags they work very nicely they do seal the meat very well you can see the link in the description below. And now we've got a whole bunch of meat stored in the freezer especially this one the eight chicken thighs you're going to need to know how to defrost it and cook it perfectly with a nice crispy skin and a flavorful sauce. And to do that, you gotta click on this video right over here.